Born on the 24th of April in 1882 in Moffat, Scotland, Sir Hugh Dowding is remembered today for his crucial foresight and leadership during the Battle of Britain, most of which was orchestrated from his office within the Mansion House. On a tour of the museum, our visitors are introduced to the story of Dowding and Bentley Priory's role in the Battle of Britain through a 10 minute film which takes place in his office. In this video, we're giving you the opportunity to see inside Dowding's office, an area otherwise closed off to the public, and to learn a little more about the man himself. Dowding's military career began in 1900 when he joined the army. It was only a decade later when posted on the Isle of Wight that he began to take flying lessons, and he subsequently joined the Royal Flying Corps in 1914. He fought in France in 1915 and became commander of 16 Squadron. Following World War I, he remained in the RAF and had reached the rank of Air Commodore by 1922, during which time he also got married, became a father and was sadly widowed. Dowding continued to rise up through the ranks in the RAF and was knighted in 1933. Three years later, he was appointed Commander-in-Chief of the newly created Fighter Command at RAF Bentley Priory, and in 1937 he was promoted to Air Chief Marshal. In the early days of the war, he pushed for the creation of more fighter aircraft to defend Britain against German attack. He was concerned that too many aircraft were being used in the war in France, leaving Britain vulnerable. Throughout the Battle of Britain, Dowding held overall control of fighter command from RAF Bentley Priory, and the Allies' success in the battle was largely down to the creation of what we now call the Dowding system, the innovative system of communications he developed to improve RAF accuracy in battle. Dowding became increasingly affectionate about his fighter pilots and was deeply saddened when pilots were lost. His own son, Derek, was a fighter pilot at the time and his stepdaughter, Brenda, was in the WAF and worked at RAF Bentley Priory during the war. Dowding left fighter command in November 1940 and retired from the RAF two years later. He was elevated to the peerage in 1943 and he chose Bentley Priory as the geographical destination for his title, becoming first baron Lord Dowding of Bentley Priory. In later life, he became increasingly interested in spiritualism. He was a member of the Ghost Club, became a vegetarian, and was an anti-vivisectionist. It was through this that he met his second wife, Muriel, whom he lived with until his death in 1970. Dowding's ashes are buried in the Royal Air Force Chapel at Westminster Abbey, below the Battle of Britain Memorial window. 